friends. This week we've been reading about the different parts and roles of our plant. So today we're going to be reading a story about stems. The stems is the long part that holds the plant up. Stems. It's a non-fiction story. Non-fiction means true by Vijaya Bodak. Stems. And this is the table of contents. The table of contents is the map of the book. If I wanted to read about stems that we can eat, I can go to page 16. But if I want to need what, read why plants need stems, I go to page four. Plants need stems. Stems join the leaves and the roots of the plants. Most stems grow above the soil. So the roots grow under the soil and they suck up all the nutrients in the water and it brings it to the stem, which acts as a straw to bring it to the rest of the plant. Leaves grow from the stems. Stems hold the leaves up to the sun and the leaves then make the food for the plant. Stems act like straws. They carry the food from the leaves to the roots to the whole plant and from the roots to the leaves. There's all kinds of stems. Tall, woody tree trunks are stems that are covered in bark. The bark protects the stem. Strawberry plants have long, thin stems that creep along the soil. Tulip bulbs are underground stems. In springs, the leaves grow up and the tulips bloom. Stems we eat. Some stems are good to eat. Celery stems are a nice, crunchy snack. Mmm. Asparagus stems grow quickly. These stems are called spears. Wonderful stems. Woody or soft, thick or thin, stems help plants stay alive. Parts of an oak tree. We have our seed, and then the roots start to grow, and eventually, after many years, the tree trunk becomes the stem and the leaves, and they all work together to make a healthy oak tree.